Welcome to our channel, Circuits Analytica. In this video, we will discuss the topic Why input impedance of an op amp is infinite? Input impedance Z. Impedance of a system is generally defined as the ratio of voltage to current. So, input impedance Z in is defined as the ratio of input voltage to input current. Z in is equal to V in divided by I in. Input impedance of a system must be as high as possible to avoid any possibility of loading so that the whole input signal is available at the input of the system. We know that first stage of an operational amplifier is a dual input balanced output differential amplifier. There are two types of operational amplifier MOS up amps where MOSFETs are used for the construction of the operational amplifier and BJT up amps where bipolar junction transistors are used for the construction of the operational amplifier. In a MOS up amp, first stage is a differential amplifier made of MOSFETs and in a BJT up amp, first stage is a differential amplifier made of bipolar junction transistors. This is the diagram of a MOS differential amplifier. There are two transistors Q1 and Q2. Output is taken between the drain of the two transistors. So output is differential in nature. V0 is equal to V01 minus V02. Where V01 is the drain voltage of transistor Q1 and V02 is the drain voltage of transistor Q2. In a MOS operational amplifier, input signal is applied between gates of two MOSFETs in the differential amplifier as shown in the diagram. For a MOSFET, Gate current is equal to zero as gate is isolated from the body of the MOSFET. So for a MOS differential amplifier pair, input current I in is equal to zero. So input impedance of a MOS differential amplifier is infinite. As differential amplifier is the first stage of an op amp, input impedance of a MOS operational amplifier is nothing but the input impedance of the MOS differential pair which is equal to infinite. This is the diagram of a BJT differential amplifier. The BJT differential amplifier consists of two bipolar junction transistors Q1 and Q2. The output is taken between the collector of these two transistors. So V0 is equal to V01 minus V02, where V01 is the collector voltage of transistor Q1 and V02 is the collector voltage of transistor Q2. If we analyze the BJT differential pair, we can find that the input signal is applied to two diodes which are connected back to back. Input signal VID is applied between the anode of a PN junction diode which represents the base emitter junction of transistor Q1 and anode of a PN junction diode which represents the base emitter junction of transistor Q2. As the diodes are in the reverse biased condition, 
Current flow between input terminals of the BJT differential amplifier is almost zero. So, input impedance of the BJT differential amplifier is almost infinite. As differential amplifier is the first stage of an op amp, input impedance of a BJT operational amplifier is almost infinite. R in is approximately equal to infinity. Thanks for watching Circuits Analytica. Enjoy learning.